Alright, check it out. I've been getting some questions on how I film speed art and exactly how I go about it with uh, the camera angle and the setup as far as recording. So, basically, you got your flat sketchbook here. If you're looking to record speed arts for canvas and stuff, that's going to be a little bit different. So, uh, this is more flat stuff, drawings, uh, pieces, stuff like that, maybe some stickers here or there. So, uh, basically, you got your sketch lined out. Uh, some people like to tape it down to make sure it stays in frame, um, although I generally am sketching in a book, so there's real no way to do that, but uh, hope that you're uh, filming right on, and after some practice, I'm sure you'll kind of work out the kinks of that. But basically, you'll end up needing a tripod of sorts. Um, I've just got a pretty standard uh, tripod here. I'll show you the brand name. Uh, it works well. It it was the cheapest one. That's why I ended up getting it. And uh, it's a nice kind of m medium size. It's not massive, but uh, it's pretty uh, nice and small as well for uh, on the desk stuff. So setting up the tripod behind your art is the crucial piece. Uh, a lot of people try and film over their shoulder from this angle, but that tends to get covered up with your arms, your head, and stuff as you're actually sketching. So filming from a reverse angle will actually allow you to get most of the piece in the frame all the time as well as your body not kind of getting in the way over a shoulder or something because um, when you are filming from the reverse side I'll flip the video around so it looks just as it would in a speed art you can get in the way draw your as you want and uh, depending on how high it is there's really no way for you to get your head in the frame which I know I've had to work out the kinks uh, time and time again because uh, if it's super high up here every time you lean in to look closer at the piece your head, head will go into the frame but then if you uh, kind of move down and get a nice closer look you can still kind of get a close look with your eyes and that way you're not cutting in front of the frame and uh, it'll look good so uh, yes it does record upside down but then in post uh, you can speed it up as you have to speed it up anyways so um, if you're making a speed art you obviously have at least Microsoft uh, Windows Movie Maker or iMovie or something I know all of them have the feature to flip the video um, and that being said uh, also speeding the video up adding some music and so forth so uh, that being said flipping the video is the crucial piece because um, one it'll write the video so uh, you see it as you are here but it'll also allow you to get a nice angle on it and uh, even with um, the tripod I know uh, having it sit level and then just angle down at it does not always get you the best angle so a little trick I like to do is I like to tilt the last back leg up so I have two legs uh, facing the piece like uh, parallel to it and then this last leg I'll kind of prop out a little bit with the tripod and then that way it'll give you almost a centered uh, profile to it so you're coming over the top rather than coming at it at like a gnarly angle like that so uh, that's just a little suggestion to me um, depending on how heavy your camera is on the tripod uh, the tripod could kind of tip over so either putting a book on the back end or just uh, repositioning your tripod to actually just tilt out on some books or something that's also a suggestion so you stack some books under it this way and you don't end up really using much of the tripod feature except for like the small screw on the top to uh, hoist your camera but that being said those are just my suggestions for recording a speed art and editing them is pretty straightforward just upload it to your computer put it in Windows Movie Maker or whatever you're using flip it over so it's right side up and uh, add some music so if you have any questions or suggestions about how to even record a tutorial let me know and uh, hit me up in the comments down below or send me a PM as well as if you have any other suggestions for kind of tutorials and things that uh, you want me to see kind of cover definitely hit me up in the comments as well as I'm always open to suggestions that's really gonna do it for me peace